Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and this is C++ from Scratch. So in this episode of the series, we're going to be talking about dynamic allocation. So there's often times inside our programs where we want to preserve some memory at runtime. And we've already seen one example of this with our standard template library containers, specifically our std vector. So with our std vector, we could just push back elements inside of our vector, and our vector would take care of the allocation of memory for us, as well as the freeing of memory after we're done with it. Now, I think it's important that we understand kind of the basics of what's going on underneath the hood there. It's also, there's also some situations where we need to manually manage memory. So we need to know a bit about allocation and freeing. So what we're going to be looking at today is one of the ways that we do that in C++, and that's going to be with our new expression and our delete expression for allocating memory and freeing memory respectively. So let's go ahead and get started, and we'll open up a new example called new.cpp. And inside of here, we can just go ahead and start off by including IO stream so we can do some printing and writing a simple main function here, right? the core of our C++ programs. Now, in the last video, we looked at the basics of pointers, right? Pointers we could use to store the address, right, of a piece of memory. Now, our new expression here that we use to allocate memory, what that will return is a pointer. It returns a pointer to the piece of memory that we just allocated. So, for example, if we're allocating space for an integer, it will return an integer pointer. So let's go ahead and see how that works. So here, we'll go ahead and create some integer pointer that we'll just call int pointer, abbreviating pointer to PTR, and set it equal to our new expression here. So we'll just set it equal to new int. So what this is doing here, it's requesting space for a single integer. Then we'll allocate space for that integer and return the address of that integer and store that in int pointer. So int pointer is going to contain the address of the integer that we just allocated. Now, after we've allocated this integer, we can play around with it just like we could you know, any other integer that we have allocated. So for example, we can set the contents by dereferencing this pointer. So we can say, you know, dereference int pointer is equal to 242, right? And then from here, we can print out, say, you know, this 242 value of this integer, as well as the address. So where is this integer located? So we can do something like std cout, and we can print out value, and we'll print out the dereference pointer, int pointer, followed by a new line character, and then we'll do the same thing for address, but we'll just get rid of this dereference. So we can just print out where that integer is located, right? That's being stored by this int pointer variable. Now, one of the things that's important to do whenever we have, say, dynamically allocated memory and we're managing it ourselves is we have to make sure to free our memory when we're done with it. And we do that with our delete expression here. So the basic way that we use this delete expression is we just, uh, you know, call delete, and then we pass um, our pointer um, to our allocated piece of memory. So here we just pass int pointer um, to free up that memory. Now, why is it important that we free our memory after we're done with it? Well, if we just have a program that allocates memory and allocates memory and just keeps allocating memory and never freeing it, eventually we're going to run out of memory. Our computers have a finite amount of memory. So we'll end up hitting something like an out of memory error. So that's why it's important that we free memory after we're done with it. And this is also a good motivating reason about why we often use things like std vector. With something like std vector, we don't have to worry about um, yeah, freeing memory, right? Or even allocating memory. That all gets taken care of underneath the hood for us. We never have to manually free the memory of our std vector. Okay, so now that we have this simple example, let's just go ahead and save this. We can compile new.cpp, call our output executable new, and we can go ahead and run it. And you can see that our uh, integer that we dynamically allocated, we set the contents equal to 242, and it's located at this address, this 0x5560, you know, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that's a little bit of the basics of how we can dynamically allocate memory, but it doesn't just stop there. We can also allocate um, an array of elements similar to what our vector does. So oftentimes we want to allocate more than just a single integer. Maybe we want to allocate space for 10 integers. And the way that we do that is just with these square brackets. So instead of saying, I want a new integer, we can say, I want a, a new array of say 10 integers here. So now instead of this pointer, just pointing to a single integer that we have allocated, now it's pointing to the first element of an array of 10 integers that we have allocated. 
So we've allocated 10 integers here instead of just a single integer. Now, if we just do something like dereference our pointer and set it equal to some value, what we're really just doing is setting the first element in this array equal to some value. So this dereference int pointer equals 242 is the exact same thing as this int pointer zero. Um, and this indexing operator zero equals 242, right? Those two things are equivalent. So we can set more than just the first element. So we can say, so the fifth element, the sixth element, you know, the third element, et cetera, equal to some value, right? So, you know, two, maybe 241 in this case. Now we can also say, you know, print out the value of this third element. And we can also print out the address of this element. So we can use the address of operator for our int pointers third element here, right? So here we're indexing into int pointer to print out the third element. And then we're taking the address of that third element and we're printing out there. Now, one final thing to note here before we go ahead and compile this is we've changed our new operator here to allocate say 10 elements instead of a single element, but we haven't updated delete yet. So that's another thing that we're going to have to need to manage. So you can see that we have these two different, uh, this different syntax for delete here for array elements created by these new bracket expressions. So we use this normal delete where we just pass a pointer if we want to delete one non-array object. And then we use this one with brackets here if we want to delete an array created by this new bracket expression. So if we just call say delete on end pointer, all we're, all we're going to be doing is freeing up that first integer, not the entire array. So if we want to free the entire array, we have to use this delete square brackets here, and that will free up all 10 integers that we've allocated here. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this, and we can go ahead and compile new.cpp and run new, and you can see that we print out this value 241 and this memory address. We can also play around and, you know, set different values here. So we could set the fifth um, index um, equal to something and we can print that as well. So we can save this, recompile it and run it, right? And we'll just set a different piece of memory, right? Equal to that value. Okay, so that's a bit of the basics on how we allocate memory in free memory in C++. Like I said, in many cases, we prefer to use things like standard template library containers that manage our memory for us so we don't have to worry about uh, you know, freeing our memory after we're done with it. But it's important to know all the same because that's what's going on underneath the hood. So that's going to go ahead and do it for today. As always, you can find any of these examples at github.com slash coffee before arch. As always, I'm Nick, and I hope you have a nice day.